facilities engineering applications program partners in progress providing innovative solutions to army engineering challenges Excessive dust generated by traffic on unpaved surfaces can obscure vision, increase military equipment maintenance costs, and reduce safety of operations. As a part of the Facility Technology Application Test Dust Proofing Unsurfaced Areas Program, the Waterways Experiment Station conducted demonstrations at five military facilities between FY84 and FY86. Treated areas include tank trails, unsurfaced roads, assault airstrips, maintenance areas, marshalling areas, and bivouac areas. The dust palliative properties of brine solutions, such as magnesium chloride and calcium chloride, and of a polyvinyl acetate known as DCA-1295, were exhibited on dust generating problem areas. Surface penetrants, such as brine solutions, are low viscosity materials that work best on well-graded gravels by binding the fine-grained material to the coarser material. Since such gravels are often used as surface courses on low-volume roads and tank trails, brines are well-suited to road applications. DCA-1295 closely resembles a viscous white glue before curing. It covers fine material and appears as a clear film blanket after curing. DCA-1295 works best on non-traffic areas. It is classified as a surface blanket material and is not normally used on areas subject to heavy traffic. A review of planning procedures, equipment required, steps for applying dust palliatives, economic factors, limitations, and benefits are as follows. Planning. Evaluate the surface soils and classify according to Unified Soil Classification System, USCS. Consult TM 5-830-3 AFM 88-17 Chapter 3 Dust Control for Roads, Airfields, and Adjacent Areas for Selection of Treatment Method. Determine area to be treated and quantity of material required. The suggested rate of application for 38% concentration calcium chloride is 0.36 gallon per square yard the suggested rate of application for 32% concentration magnesium chloride is 0.50 gallon per square yard. Both brine solutions can typically be applied as delivered. DCA-1295 is normally diluted with one part water to three parts concentrate. Then it is applied at a rate of 0.50 gallon per square yard. Equipment. Motor grater to blade surface to be treated. This will eliminate ruts, potholes, and loose material. Water truck for pre-wetting as necessary to reduce surface tension. Surface tension on dry soils has been shown to reduce penetration and or adherence of dust palliatives. Liquid distributor capable of metered application. Many combinations of spray apparatus have been shown to be acceptable. DCA-1295 has a much greater viscosity than brine solutions and may bind a non-lubricated pump. Previous experience has shown that minor pump modifications involving the inclusion of external grease fittings can eliminate this problem. Rollers for compaction as necessary. Dust proofing does not add a structural component to unpaved surfaces. If the material is unconsolidated, mechanical compaction will increase the bearing capacity and extend the life expectancy of the dust palliative. Appropriate hoses to transfer dust palliatives from transport to spreader. Personnel, typically three to seven people. Personnel required to operate equipment. Someone who is familiar with dust proofing operations and equipment involved. Site preparation. Blade away all ruts, potholes, washboard, and loose material. Compact as necessary. 
This is an especially important consideration for trafficable areas. Pre-wet as necessary at 0.10 to 0.30 gallon per square yard. Material application. A check of the material's specific gravity and temperature should be made and compared with manufacturer specifications. Spray liquid dust control agent with equipment capable of metered application. A 6 to 12 inch overlap of treated strips is suggested. Test strips are recommended to eliminate initial problems that may arise. Allow area to cure until vehicles pass without treated material sticking to the wheels. Brine solutions on crushed stone or gravel roads may be trafficked immediately. Finer grain soils on DCA 1295 treated areas require 24 hours to cure. Compact as necessary. Finer grain soils can benefit considerably from compaction. DCA 1295 will not withstand heavy rollers and soils treated with this material should not be followed with compaction. Gravel or crushed stone roads are often compacted adequately by normal traffic. Maintenance. Brine solution may need to be reactivated by spraying the surface with water following periods of low rainfall or humidity less than 30%. Treated areas should be bladed only if substantial rutting occurs. Brine solution will eventually leach from the treated area. A second application at one half of the initial rate should be planned following eight to 12 months of service depending on soil and effectiveness of material. Areas treated with DCA 1295 should not be trafficked with vehicles equal to or larger than a two and a half ton truck. If the treated area is intended to have traffic, it should be reinforced with fiberglass scrim. DCA 1295 is biodegradable and will dissolve from the treated soil area with continued exposure. A second application should be planned following 10 to 15 months of service. Safety. Normal hygiene practices, such as washing with soap and water, are suggested for personnel who come in contact with dust palliatives. Brine solutions are mildly corrosive. Military vehicles and aircraft that traffic treated areas should be washed during normal maintenance after exposure to brine solutions. The manufacturer's application recommendations and safety labels should be read. Specific concerns over the environmental effects of brine solutions appear to be insignificant. Testing in Germany indicates no discernible effect on nearby streams or local wildlife at the recommended application rates. Storage. DCA 1295 must be transported, stored, and permitted to cure at a minimum of 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If allowed to freeze, this material crystallizes, which is an irreversible process. The storage life of DCA 1295 is unknown, but that of brine solutions appears to be forever. If the solid constituent precipitates out of solution, it may be dissolved by agitation. In addition, calcium chloride or magnesium chloride can be purchased in flake or pellet form and mixed with water to proper concentration or spread onto treatment areas and sprayed over with water. Economics. The cost of brine solutions is typically 20 cents per gallon FOB. The cost of DCA 1295 is approximately $4 per gallon FOB. Shipping cost will depend on distance from manufacturer. In some areas, it may be cost effective to have the dust proofing effort performed by an independent contractor. Limitations of dust proofing based on field experience indicates Brine solutions are very effective on cohesionless, well-graded gravel soils, but their life expectancy is reduced 50 to 60 percent on fine-grained soils. Compaction may be necessary to increase the life of areas treated with dust palliatives. Brine solutions become dormant in arid regions and can be leached from areas of heavy rainfall. DCA 1295 treated areas are not meant to be trafficked and their life and effectiveness are seriously reduced when subjected to heavy traffic. Surface penetrants such as magnesium chloride and calcium chloride and surface blankets such as DCA 1295 are not permanent but they can provide relief from dust problems for approximately one year if applied properly. Benefits. Among the benefits provided by brine solutions is the tight road surface which resists rutting. Another benefit is the potential savings on regraveling of one ton per mile per year on some gravel roads. 
This can result in a maintenance cost savings of up to 30%. At Brine Treated Unsurfaced Airfields, reduction in turnaround time for C-130 sorties can be over 50% as demonstrated at previous FTAT sites. DCA-1295 was originally developed for use on the shoulders of C-130 airstrips and CH-47 helipads in Southeast Asia where engine and rotary blade life were reduced over 50% due to dust. DCA-1295 was shown to be an excellent alternative in areas where coarse, clean aggregate was in short supply. During FTAT demonstrations, DCA-1295 was only placed in designated non-traffic areas where dust suppression was critical.